Hello there everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Not For Broadcast VR. I'm just sitting here in my very comfortable virtual living room watching a spot of television, which is something I literally never do in the real world. I'm going to confess right now, I kind of hate TV. I think like, modern TV programs uh, are just garbage, just absolute garbage. I watch a lot of films and I obviously play a lot of games, but TV is something I've almost entirely cut out of my life. I think the last time I sat and watched TV is back when Black Mirror was kind of airing on there and it wasn't on Netflix. Um, or perhaps even when Dead Set came out. A lot of Charlie Brooker. Big old fan of Charlie Brooker me. Now, Not For Broadcast VR is a brand new VR port of an existing flat screen game. Not For Broadcast came out at the start of 2022 and basically you play the role of a TV editor, I guess. You're in the live editing suite. TV shows are playing out in front of you and you have complete control of the camera angles who is on the screen, so who you're looking at, who's who's got control of the narrative, if it's an interview, let's say. You can censor swear words, and effectively, you're building the programming. Okay, difficulty modes. We've got story mode, no stress. In turn, less challenging non-broadcast mechanics. Okay, we're going to go for the medium difficulty and see how tough this is. I already don't like this TV in here. It's making me very uncomfortable. That's all coming up on tonight's National Nightly News. <laughs> God. Okay, I'm in. Welcome to Not For Broadcast VR. I'm in my little TV studio. Someone's ringing me on the phone. Uh, Hi, hello? Dave. I have a call for you. I'm just putting it through. Okay. Hi, mate. Dave here. Listen, hello, Dave. Uh, I know you've only come in to clean up the place, but I've got a bit caught up, so... Uh, what? You're going to have to run the news tonight. Now, don't worry. I'm a janitor. Hard, and I'm going to stay on the phone and help you. First, I'm uh. going to give you a quick tour of the broadcast room. So what are you on about? you're not doing it already, look forwards towards all those screens. Uh-huh, right, yeah. <laughs> look up at the top. That coloured bar is your audience. That one there. You want to keep the viewers going up <laughs> and not down. Okay. Underneath that, simple, you've got simple. The screens. Have a look to your left. Oh, yeah. These plugs control everything in the studio. Uh -huh. I've left them set up for you, so provided you haven't fiddled with them, all you have to do now is throw the master trip switch I ain't touched them, mate. Business. Oh, God. Once you've got the power on, face the front again. Shall I do it now? I've bloody done it. You can see on the broadcast screen that we're in the end titles for the show before us. Looks like Emmerdale. They go on for fucking ages, so there's plenty of time. <laughs> oh, Jesus! Okay, they're over, so we haven't got long now till the broadcast. Right, quickly, mate, look down under the desk. Okay, yeah. See a load of videotapes on yeah. the left? They're your adverts. Pick any three and load Ooh. them into the machines on the right. I'm going to go come to Bumley. Come to Bum Let's run this trailer, shall we? Um, Where do you want to put it? In here? There we go. Did I do it? Load ad. Oh, I've got to load multiple adverts. Okay, one. Crazy Neil. Crazy Neil can go into three and. Uh, that can go in there. Ah. Select screen one. Beep. Hello. I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Our main story is tonight. Next is going to be to throw the news titles on screen two. There'll be a countdown, but I'll count you in as well. Right. Just relax, mate. It's all gravy. Buys honest Andy's totally independent. Buys on corners the fly. What's going on? Corners the fly. Oh, okay, that's the sound of the live broadcast. Okay, so I can have... Oh, that's a bit much. I can hear them twice. But I can mute the live broadcast. Oh, ten. I've got to change to number two. Seven. Right. Four, three, two, one, bosh. Look at that. Smashed it. Next thing is to throw back to Jeremy with button one when that globe in the middle shrinks down and vanishes. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll be ready, I'll be ready. I've got the news title screen <laughs> playing. And when the little circle, that's not a circle, it's a globe. When it goes small, I have to go down Here to comes. Jeremy. Switch to screen. Now, there he is. The votes are in, and yes. it's a decisive win for advance. We often get a bit of interference around this time, mate. Keep your eye on that machine at the bottom right, and you use a slider that's flashing there to move the wave up and down. Okay. Oh. But critics have accused him. Oh my word! Okay. What happens if I don't do this? Can you down to the end of these people? When it reaches 
zero. Press one of the three play add buttons over there at the bottom right. I can only play the first one and the first break and so on, but you can play oh, here, here. Okay. I'll count you into it as well. Right, we're going to play Welcome to Bumley advert. And three, two, one, advert. Bang. One minute back, everybody. Jeremy. I need you to fill after the ads. Oh, what so the advert goes here. Match is running late. Oh, I thought I'd ask him about the election. <laughs> Personally, I wouldn't try to confuse him with any big words. Hmm, that's so that's what the viewers you. are seeing. That was our little secret. And so this is what's happening in the studio. <laughs> I'm deeply uncomfortable with your burgeoning friendship. Mm. Might as well get screen one selected now. Okay. No need to wait for the broadcast to start. <laughs> try and stay ahead, mate. <laughs> and I can just switch between them. <laughs> Look at that! Awful! Oh. Okay, Quiet so... In 14 seconds, it's going to go back to the news. The adverts are going to finish, and I have to control what camera when. I have to cut between the interviewers and stuff. This is cool. Okay, here we go. Three. And rolling. Welcome back to the National Nightly News. Later, we'll be hearing from the shock election winners advance. But first... Get ready to go to Megan on screen four. He's here with a star of both stage and screen. I'm ready. Megan? Thank you, Jeremy. Megan Wolf, culture correspondent. There she is. And today I have a guest who starred in everything from Shakespeare. Right, to go to Blunderclatch on screen three when I'm she gonna. says his name. I'm gonna. By none other than Lawrence Blunderclatch. Thank you so much for coming. Lawrence oh Blunderclatch. Here he is. You believe me when I tell you. Lawrence Bandersnatch. Switch to two for the Lawrence. ride now. Bumble clutch. <laughs> May I say having you here with us is among ours. <laughs> right, now just try and stay on whoever's talking. The latest movie, which is called The Medicated. The Medicated, yes. <laughs> wow, what was that like? Well, as I said to <laughs> Peter at the rap, that's Peter Jensen, the director. Give us a look at Megan's reaction. Lovely. Now back Lovely. to Lovely, look, look at that. I've worked with him just on Just call him Thunder Twat. I think I've always been quite clear that when it comes to politics... That one should always <laughs> strive to not fuck things oh, up. Oh, shit, he's oh, 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 well, don't worry, you won't do it again. Sorry, I said fuck. Shit. Ah! Okay, okay, don't panic. I'll explain how to deal with swearing at the break. He's swearing! What is that? My Salad Weekly. We'll play that. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Go into the advert. Yes, please. As you probably notice, the broadcast screen here is about two seconds behind the master screen here. True. When someone says a naughty word, the bleep button lights up like ah. this. Two seconds later, you'll hear that swear word going out on the broadcast, and you need to hold down that the makes sense. for as long as the swear word lasts. Seriously, bad words. Okay, Five, we're going to go straight in four, to one. Three. Here comes the news, baby. Welcome, Welcome back. back. Yeah. I'm told we can now go well, live back. to advance headquarters where the two leaders, Peter Clement and Julia down. Salisbury, are Peter about to make their acceptance address. Oh. Cut to the outside broadcast. Oh, oh shit, right, he's right. pissed. What a day. They said we couldn't do it. They said he's got a pint on TV. Every dirty, low-down, lying, Whoa. southern bastard <laughs> trick they had against us. But you, <laughs> the people, nice. you saw I got right it. through their shack. She's not looking happy. The oh, no, Sorry, I missed the swear. I've got a bit of a word. Oh, it makes no. me coarser than a grown is funny. Ah, funny! Horribly put. <laughs> but to be honest, oh who can blame God. Peter for celebrating? <laughs> Throughout the campaign, you oh, have said that advance are not a political party. Show him. A team. There he is. He's a green. He's a green. He's a green. Change things. Back to the lady. She loves it. But today is day one of a <laughs> this new is fun. Future. I like this. A better, fairer future. Back to the man. So perhaps we should all be celebrating. Except for the rich. For them, the party's over. They oh. shouldn't be celebrating. They should be putting their shitting pants on and opening their dusty checkbooks. <laughs> Again, no, colourfully okay. put, but not inaccurate. I can't believe that politician is live on TV with a pint in his hand. He's having, a, he's having the best day ever. Unavoidable Look at him. Of tax Look at his face. So all you bastard public <laughs> school snobs have got nowhere to hide. He's a nightmare. We revoke your passports. You want them back? You want to leave like you threatened before the election? This sounds very uh, Brexit-y. You're going to pay back. 
Advance are going to turn oh, this love country it. from a nation of warring... Off they go, off they go. Usher them away. Back to studio. Interesting acceptance speech there from there we the go. leaders of advance. And our apologies for the fruity language. Oh, don't worry, I bleeped them all, I think, apart from one time. shit. If not, someone's going to be in trouble. Oh, I'm not in trouble, mate. I'm good. So, as the country uh, okay, itself, we need to get another advert happy. going, don't we? That's all from us this evening at the National Nightly News. We're going to queue up we'll be back tomorrow advert B. With full coverage Six, of the first day five, of advance. Six, five, four... I'm Three, Jeremy Donaldson. Two, Have a peaceful one. night. Right, off to the adverts. Thanks for the help, mate. I've got to go. Ferry's about to leave. Probably won't be coming back. Job's Dave. yours, mate. Dave! You piss. This is some weird fever dream. Am I dying now? What is going on here? You should be so lucky. There in your lounge. <laughs> Johnny! I've got a grade B. That's pretty good for my first time. Why am I sitting on the floor now when I've got a perfectly good sofa right there? Do you remember Teletext? Look at this. Looks just like Teletext. I don't think I ever used it for anything other than, like, football scores. I know you could, like, book holidays on there? No idea how. It was kind of like the internet before the internet, and it was kind of crap. Okay, so all offensive words were censored. Uh, it was an interference-free show, and it was adequately edited. Well, that was like a tutorial level, so it was always going to be easy, wasn't it? Okay, and then you get a breakdown about the state of the world. So I guess kind of what you broadcast can change the course of history. Certain politicians will be more favourable or negatively received. And then you get a rating um, regarding the channel. So if the channel loves you or hates you. I currently have a little love heart, so it's probably good. And that's kind of neutral, I guess. No impact right now on the state of the world. Ah, this is cool. Okay, so you get to come in and replay like the full edited broadcast that you controlled. So here's the first one I did, day one, the election grade B. If I load well, tape... In a few moments, we'll be going live to tonight's national nightly news. It's but an edited that, version. Let's take a look at what's of what I did. On tonight on Channel One. At Can I fast forward it and stuff? How do I get to that? Oh my god, so far away. <laughs> Even faster. Even faster. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> do I have to watch the whole thing? I guess I don't. I could just press back. I want to get to one of the adverts. Welcome to Bumley one. I want to see what that's about. Here we go. Here in St Bumley on the Taint, we've got a big hill and the bus comes twice daily. This is cool. Visit picturesque St Bumley this summer and experience a holiday that's simply unlike any other. So, you do the broadcast, you're editing it, but you don't really get to fully appreciate, I guess, what's happening. Because you're trying to control the camera angles and the swears and interference and all that kind of stuff. But the game is quite funny. There's no gift shop, but feel free to grab so, the handle from the skip out the back. <laughs> to appreciate all the comedy and the acting, you can just come and watch the broadcasts fully edited. That's that's a smart touch. The old market, home of the fairly big cabbage, or a fairly big cabbage! Hey, that's a nice hole. That is a nice hole, and I've seen some good holes. Day three, an unexpected form. You arrive home to find post on the map, most being nothing more than the usual junk mail. One letter, however, catches your eye. I guess that's that letter. The team wants to know you. Curiosity gets the better of you and you open it. It's a form from the new advanced government asking for information on all citizens. The first page is filled in already. Your name, Alex Winston. What is this? What's going on here? The rest of the questions are left for you to complete. They appear to be mandatory. Question one, upon starting a new job, you would ease yourself in and orient yourself with your new workplace, 100%. Question eight. It is most important that the government keeps people... Ooh. Ooh. Free. Thank you for your cooperation. Advance knows your time is valuable, and we appreciate your help in leading the nation to a brighter future. Sign your name. What the hell was that about? Why are they making me sign things and do weird kind of personality tests? I just want to go and work at the bloody TV place. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Back in the studio. This is where I want to be. Okay, day eight, the fallout. Oh, is Dave ringing again? Oh, mate, what? What do you want? There we go. Oh, shut up, Dave. I don't need your help anymore. I know what I'm doing. Right, let's get the news ready. They're all talking. His hair looks awful. Ten seconds and we're going live. But before all that, 
It's time to go over to Jeremy Donaldson for tonight's National Nightly News. Here we go. Jeremy Donaldson. Good Our main headlines tonight. A deep dive into the state Look at of this bold guy. Advance of a he needs more beard. Calling a solutions team to move this serious social come on, problem come on. to the top of the list. That's it. Keep there. Tonight, Stay there. We go behind the headlines to make the people who live with the criminal justice system every day in their life. There we go. There we go. First night, oh, I we snowed it. We judge. A lawyer who sees the problems close up. There he is. Look. Line. Can you hear me, Gregory? Yes, I've got you, Jeremy. Thanks for having me. He's really smarmy. I don't think I can look at his face for Which six minutes. The quality of support you can offer. Well, we can barely keep up with demand, Jeremy. Oh, who's this? So there just simply isn't enough being done at a uh, systemic uh, level to relieve the problem. Greg, we need more support who's this? From ministers. We, uh, what are you doing? Well, we need change uh, at uh, a structural level, I'm Jeremy. leaving, Greg. What's going on? Going on? It never is, is it? <laughs> I'll be at my mother's. Just, uh, <laughs> oh, no. no the, the problem isn't a local one, Jeremy. It's nationwide. J just give me five minutes. I'm talking to Jeremy Donaldson. Have oh, <laughs> you mentioned your affairs? No. <laughs> well, uh, the affairs of the Justice Department that we should be concerned about. Come on. Come on. Hello, Mr. Donaldson. Hello, Mrs. Jack. We need. <laughs> How are you supposed to do that and worry about that? We need legislation. Multitasking so pressure on pro. Our Sorry servant. to interrupt the news, Mr. Donaldson. Can I have a moment to tell my husband I'm leaving him? Yes, I uh, totally understand. <laughs> Quite the picture of a burdened legal sector there. Gregory Judge, thank you for joining us. What is happening? Joined by Police Chief Constable Bob Peel, a man with a very different. Can I cut back to that? On our nation. I would have expected this from your sister, but not from you. <laughs> I'm sure we all do. Oh Jeremy. God, I've sure got the news up. A return to the days uh, when you safely walk the streets of your community at night, okay. looking in through windows and generally enjoying your neighbours without the risk of being. You can't do that. That's not allowed. The night, but also, as the Come on. noted in Sunday's sermon, we probably shouldn't okay. have banned hanging. And what? what do you attribute this model? Shouldn't have banned hanging. Gays and gypsies mainly. Gays and gypsies. Look, Leviticus clearly states that. What's that? Bugger, hang on a moment. Jeremy, your bloody gimp's escaped. <laughs> Delia? Uh, Delia, could you give me a little help, please, dear? Uh, as I was saying, <laughs> Jesus didn't like immigrants much, did he? And What's going the on? Thing, it's the immigrants who are responsible for the moral oh, yes. decay. Absolutely, Jeremy. He should look way more shocked. Back in your box. Delia, I really could use a little help with that. <laughs> oh, sorry, this is on the news! The yes, yes, this I is on the news! Dawson, Clive, could you put him back oh, in the box? Oh, Clive, you know it's Wednesday. <laughs> Oh my God! Oh my God! Did he say good white people? Okay, so we've got some weird, racist, xenophobic, BDSM people on the news here. Look at his stockings! What's going on? Where are we going now? Tony. Been released from prison. Here he is. After serving three years Good old Tony. Assault, burglary, and menacing assault. Oh, that's starting to go up there. He's agreed to talk to us today, which is also, I believe, his birthday. Let's do it. Many happy returns, Tony. Hello, Tony. Cheers, Jez. Call me Titwank Tony. <laughs> Titwank Tony! No, I'm not going to be doing that. <laughs> oh, no! What it's like in prison, Tony. <laughs> Call me Titwank Tony! Hey! Prison's a mixed bag. Oh, Stop my God. <laughs> It's a constant battle against institutionalisation, as you can imagine. What is going on? Titwanks are quite hard. No! I'm picking up that you're not alone there, Stop Jake. saying titwank. Stop it! Yeah, sorry, my friends are throwing me a surprise party. This is bonkers. I don't know how this is going to translate into a video. And I don't think this will necessarily be a VR game that everyone will love. It's a lot of watching and not a lot of doing. But I think for those who do enjoy it. It'll be something they really enjoy. It's Welcome crazy. Back. I'm Megan Wolf, and on tonight's Culture Spot, I'll be chatting with it's one good of, job the to her rather than him. of the Assets and Wealth Act, a team Here of they inspiring are. young people from Scritchford Sixth Form College who today received a grant from Advance to take their play, Hey, Friendship, on a tour of local secondary schools. Hey, Welcome Friendship! Do well, so I edit in terms of the music here? I guess I do. Oh, yeah. Take a look at me. Take a little look at my face. Ah. Nice. 
And you want to get to the top? <laughs> what is this? What is this? There he is. Now, I don't know if this bit translates very well into VR. So in between the actual broadcasts and working in the studio and controlling the TV, you've kind of got this text adventure, um, which is taking up a lot more of the game than I thought. You, you really are just answering questions, and this really does feel like kind of one of those choose-your-own-adventure books. So like right now, it's day 15, uh, a late night. You get to the theatre slightly early, and Sam's already there waiting, dressed to the nines. You smile widely as you join hands and take your seats in the private box. So that's your wife. You've gone to the theatre. And you need to just click through and basically just read. So this is how the story progresses in this strange text adventure format. And this does take up a lot of time in between doing the broadcasts. The broadcasts are actually like the gameplay element, and this is this is a lot of reading, so I know some people probably won't enjoy this part. I'm not super adverse to it, but I think this stuff translates better to flat screen games and to VR. I think sitting there with all this on just to read is, is a little rough. That's a little bit um, a hard pill to swallow for some people. Okay, no lie, I've been sitting here for about 10 minutes now doing text adventure stuff. This bit will bore people to tears. Like, the writing's good, the scripting's fine, but oh my lord, I'm just sitting here clicking. And I've been, I have been doing it for about 10 minutes, I'm not exaggerating. And I'm at the point where I'm not even really getting many choices, and I've, I must admit I've kind of zoned out, and I'm just making whatever choices uh, come up first. Because I want to get back to some gameplay! It just keeps on coming. Oh my lord. Can we go back to the studio, please? How many days have I been here? It's like half a year. Oh my lord, thank God for that. I'm back in the studio. And it's raining outside. Oh, there's a plane flying along there as well. I can just about make out a plane, leaving a little jet stream behind it. Right, let me just kind of sum up here, because this is a strange game of kind of two halves. So one half of the game is sitting here in the broadcast studio, and it's kind of a escape room, reaction time, micromanagement, comedy simulator. The comedy is taking place on screen, so the things that are, that are playing out here are actually really funny. The adverts are funny, the news broadcasts are funny, the guests are funny, but you don't really get to fully appreciate it because you're trying to stay on top of everything. You have a score to achieve, you have to successfully beat the level, so you need to keep on top of things like interference, running ads, changing camera angles, bleeping out swears, and all kinds of other things. I'm sure they're going to keep throwing in new mechanics, I'm sure that's why Dave's calling right now, because he wants to throw in some new things for me to deal with. This part of the game is a lot of fun. It is a lot of watching, and not much doing. As I say, it's like reactions and micromanagement, similar to I Expect You to Die. It's probably the closest thing I could really compare it to, but it doesn't really feel like any game I've ever played in VR before. And then you've got the other half of the game, which is just a text adventure, and it's, it's in the nicest way possible, it's dull, and I can see it boring people, especially people playing in VR, because you're sitting here with all this kit on, and you're just reading. You're reading pages and pages and pages. It isn't narrated, it's not voice acted, you're just reading pages, making choices, and it can be for like 5 minutes or 10 minutes. Maybe longer as the game goes on. These bits here are great fun. Still won't necessarily be for everyone. And then the text adventure bits are going to be a sticking point, I think, for a lot of people. I think some people will just zone out and not be interested in it. That's that's my prediction. Oh no, what's happening here? So, I like this. I think it's very unique. I do not think it's going to be for everyone, is my is my brutally honest opinion. I think some people will find it quite dull. It's a lot of watching, it's not reaction packed, it's not a lot of doing. And I think there's a place for that in VR, for sure. I think there's a place for that in gaming in general. Oh my god, I'm cocking everything up. Holy cock and balls! I do also think that this game has a very specific kind of comedy. Um, I think if you like stuff that's very British, um, things like 
Peep Show, maybe. Uh, things like uh, anything Charlie Brooker's ever kind of uh, had his hand in. Uh, Brass Eye, very similar to Brass Eye. If you like that kind of humour and that kind of approach, I think you'll enjoy Not For Broadcast, um, whether you play it flat or in VR. The VR version, it is really cool, really responsive, works very well as a VR product, but these bits are miles better than the text adventure bits, which do take up quite a large portion of this game. The game is out, I believe, today for PC VR and Quest standalone. And if you're looking for a multitasking puzzle adventure, it's worth checking out. But do bear in mind it won't be for everyone. It's a very specific kind of game with a very specific tone and a very hands-off gameplay approach. There's not a lot of kind of crazy over-the-top gameplay that you need to kind of uh, learn. It really is just wiggling this little knob, sliding that, changing the cameras, and that's kind of it. It's all about timing and staying on top of things. Timing and multitasking. I've said it a million times. Right, I'm leaving it. Right. <laughs> Take care, guys. See you soon for another one. Peace out. Weird game, man. Censor him. Censor him. Censor him. Censor him. Censor him. Censor him. Censor him.